If you find your breathing's an issue in freestyle, maybe it causes you to over-rotate through your shoulders, maybe you can't get the timing right, or maybe you just take in too much water when you turn to breathe, this solution could fix everything for you. One of the things I've been guilty of when I first started coaching is trying to get people to breathe too low in freestyle, trying to get them to keep their head really low in the water so that they don't lift it at all. Now, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that position because it is good to keep the head somewhat low, but I think people sometimes try and go too far with it where they've almost got their head all the way underwater and it's just their mouth and a little bit of their face out of the water as they've turned to breathe. So they're almost trying to breathe fully submerged with their head apart from just their mouth. Now it is really difficult to get the breath quickly and comfortably when your head is too low in the water. What you see at the elite level with many swimmers, especially those when they're sprinting or especially in the open water, is they've actually got a reasonable amount of their face out of the water. So it's not like split vision, 50% of their head in, 50% of their head out. No, it's a little bit more like 20, 80 or 30, 70, where just this part of their face is in the water as they turn to breathe. Now, that kind of goes against what I initially thought should happen, what I was initially taught. Now, nothing, as I said, nothing wrong with getting a lower breath, but if you look at many elite swimmers, they're not getting this very low breath. So what I would suggest doing here to stop you from either over-rotating or taking water in is allow your head to be a little bit higher if it's something that you struggle with. So something that I saw quite a bit, I was in Tasmania a few weeks ago and I did 70 uh, analysis videos. So I recorded 70 people and did some analysis for them. And what I saw with quite a few of them is they were trying to get their breath with their head too deep in the water and it caused them to turn their head and look up in that direction, almost at 45 degrees rather than straight to the side. And when their head turns too far, so did their shoulders. And then it was really unlikely to see them get a good catch out the front because their shoulders are too far on the side as they're getting the breath. And it's one of the most common things that we tend to see. And if you've watched our videos before, you'll know that it's a really common thing to have that lead arm out in front drop down and not be in what we call the front quadrant. So not always have something in front of your head. And for that lead arm to have a very poor catch when someone's taking a breath. And one of the things that can cause that is getting the breath too low. So something that you might do to make a change to that could be something as simple as side breathing drill with the kickboard. Where you hold a kickboard in front of you and you're kicking face down. And when you're ready, you turn to the side to breathe and come back as you can see in this video here. Now, very basic, very simple drill but that can allow you to practice keeping the head that fraction higher than where you may be. Now, that said, there are many swimmers that do the opposite. They lift their head up and out of the water and they're lifting it too high, which can drop your hips and can drop your legs. So there is that sweet spot, but I wanted to make this video because it's something that I see happen quite a bit is people are trying to get their breath too low and it makes it impact other parts of their stroke and in a negative way where they're really struggling with their breath because of it. So if you feel like you're trying to get your breath too low, just allow that head to be a fraction higher. So only say this much of your face is in the water as opposed to this much, or even sometimes yeah, that much. So that's something that, that can be really important. In our eight week faster freestyle course inside of our Effortless Swimming membership, week one is breathing. And if you get your breathing right, if you get the timing right, if you breathe in the right position, if you can breathe comfortably, so inhale through your mouth, exhale through your nose at the right time, then everything else becomes a whole lot easier. So that's why we start with breathing because it's probably the number one thing really that can cause other issues in the stroke. So if you're not getting the breath the right time or in the right way, then other, everything else can be a lot more challenging. So that's why we start with breathing in that eight week faster freestyle course is the first week. That can be one thing just to check in with, with your breathing if you are struggling with it at the moment. Now, if you're having trouble with your breathing in a way where you're fatiguing after 25 or 50 meters, it may be something else there. And we've got a beginner freestyle course inside the membership that covers those things that are probably causing you to struggle to swim more than 25 or, or 50 meters. So you can check that out inside the, the membership if 
that's sort of where you're at at the moment, which I know many of you are as you have emailed me in the last couple of months. So I just wanted to let you know that this is something to consider. And particularly if you are doing triathlon and you are swimming in the open water, I've got a video coming up next week, which we're gonna have a look at some open water technique and styles. And I'm gonna show you that a lot of those swimmers, they're not trying to get the breath really low. They're actually sort of lifting up a little bit to get the breath. And I'll, I bet you'll find, especially if you're wearing a wetsuit, that you can have a much better stroke rhythm and tempo if you breathe in that right direction. So I'll leave it there for this week. Thanks very much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd love it if you could, or share this video with someone who you think might be struggling with this at the moment. That's the best thing you could do um, as a way to support the channel. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next week with a, another video.